Are you ready to discover a project future that will transform your workflow? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. We're going to take a look at consolidation and resource sharing. And we're going to look at these topics together as you often need to use them on a large project at the same time. Now, generally what happens when you're working on a project is that that project gets larger and larger over time. And sometimes it can turn into a set of projects as opposed to just one project. Or perhaps we're working on a project that needs to be split into a set of projects. And not only do we need to split up the work, the tasks, but different people are going to manage different parts. And what usually happens is that even if projects are being managed by different people, they often share the same resources. So in this lesson, we're going to look at combining multiple projects into one or splitting a large project into separate projects and sharing resources between projects. Now to demo this, we're going to use an example of an event. And this event really has three key parts. We have a gala dinner, and this is where invitees will pay an admission fee. They'll get a nice dinner. Maybe there'll be some entertainment, some dancing afterwards. The next part of the event is a fashion show. So maybe we've invited local fashion houses to display their clothes at this fashion show. And they also get a buffet lunch whilst they're there. And the last part is the sports day. So this is more of a family friendly event where people compete in different sports just for fun. And there's also a barbecue. So we have three very distinct parts of this one event. Now we're going to assume that we've done some early planning and you can see here at the top, I have a planning section. If we expand this, we can see the tasks beneath that. So we have 20 or so tasks, which we've already scheduled in relation to the planning of this big event. Now this event is quite a large undertaking. So what we want to do is we want to split this event into separate parts with different people managing those different parts. So we might have someone managing the overall project plan. We might have somebody else managing the gala dinner, someone else managing the fashion show and somebody else managing the sports day. Now, the individual projects are not that complicated and we need a project manager to be able to manage their part independently and separately. So why do we need to be able to do this? Well, as you'll know from your current knowledge of project, when you're dealing with editing a single MPP file, if our project managers each want to work on it at the same time, that can become complicated, particularly if they want to work on it from home or they don't have any shared access. Now, splitting up the actual project file into effectively four separate files is pretty straightforward. The problem starts to occur when it comes to resources. Now, if we jump across to the resource sheet for this project, you can see that we have eight or so resources assigned. Now, also notice that I don't have any costs assigned to these resources at the moment. We are going to talk about that a bit more later. But for the time being, just note that we have eight or so resources. Now, resources such as volunteers, the event director, publicity officers, they might need to be able to work across all four of the projects. So we need to set them up as effectively shared resources. What you'll also notice if we switch back to the Gantt chart view is that many of these tasks across all of the different parts of this project have dependencies and links to other tasks in other parts of the project. So when we split this project and we set this up to share resources, we also want to make sure that we're maintaining the integrity of those links and everything links through correctly. Now, a good proportion of the work here relates to the relationships between the tasks. So let's start out, first of all, by just separating off the sports day section of this project. So if we scroll down, you can see here is the sports day section. So from task 46 to 56, and we're just going to select all of these tasks. Now, what I'm going to do is press control C to copy those tasks to the clipboard. And then we're going to open up a brand new blank project file. Now you can go up to the file tab to do this. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control N just to quickly open that up. And then I'm going to press control V just to paste those tasks in. So now we have just the sports day tasks in this new project. Now, once you've copied these tasks across, it's worth noting that those dependencies still exist within this summary task. 
But remember, in the original version of the project plan, this sports day section also had dependencies in other parts of the project, and those haven't come across when we've copied these tasks. Also, if we jump across to the resource sheet for this file, notice that we now only have two resources because it's only bringing across the resources that are included in this part of the project plan. And you can see that the volunteer is now showing as over allocated because we've split this section out. Now, the way that project looks at these resources is that these are completely independent of the original resources in the other project plan. So these aren't the same resources, they're two brand new resources as far as project is concerned. So in the next lesson, what we're going to look at is how we can share these resources across our project plans. Now, before we leave this lesson, the final thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to save off this file. So let's jump up to file down into save as and I'm going to save this into the course files folder and we're going to save this as charity event underscore sports day and click on save. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.